9-11, I was preparing, along with two other response coordinators, uh, an exercise that we were going to have on 9-12. And uh, in preparing the room, uh, we do what coordinators always do. And another coordinator, Doug Weaver, came in and he said, are you watching what's going on in New York? We turned on a TV monitor and saw what was going on at the World Trade Center. And uh, we talked about how odd it seemed on such a beautiful day that an airplane could make the mistake of hitting a building that big. Uh, but it wasn't very long before the next building was hit and then we immediately, all the four of us knew, uh, it was time to do what we do. The problem is there was no plan for this. And I got to thinking about Dwight, Dwight Eisenhower uh, talking about plans are useless, but planning is essential. And uh, that's what we do in an emergency response. You never get the emergency that you plan for. And, uh, but we all knew what we needed to do. And I find my, found myself within 20 seconds uh, in the operations center with the ops officers, and they needed somebody to serve as a monitor uh, to uh, brief the chairman brief senior NRC managers about what was happening and serve as a master of ceremonies on that conference bridge and it turned out to be me. And we were probably on for 45 minutes or an hour. And we saw more developments. There was talk of the State Department maybe being attacked. The Pentagon had been attacked. The other World Trade Center, one of the towers had collapsed. And finally uh, the chairman said, I'm coming down to the op center. So it was up to uh, Karen Jackson and myself and the other responders there to activate the center, ask people to come back in because the, the government had just closed itself. People were evacuating the buildings for, the, for their own safety. But the professionalism of our folks, they all came back in, uh, did their duty uh, without any plans. Uh, we, we found the right thing to do, common sense, good training, good management, uh, we, we got through it and I was very proud to be a member of the NRC that day.